Sean. And I'm Selena. And you're watching my channel. As you guys can see from the title, I have been attacked by fleas. I don't get it. I don't know why this has happened to me. They have been tormenting me for the past week and a half. I don't have a dog. I don't have a cat. I have two kids. They most definitely do not have fleas. Where did the fleas come from? I would like to know, so if anybody can tell me, that'd be great. And get this, I am the only person getting bit. And that's how I know I'm special. I'm that one percent, that rare case that no one wants to be. I wanna grab each individual flea one by one and just That's how you kill a flea, you don't swat them, you pop them, okay? But it is what it is, like, what am I gonna do about it? I'm obviously gonna do a lot of research and I'm gonna try to prevent it. Lucky for you guys, I already have experimented and I um, have come up with some good results for getting rid of them and for preventing them from biting you. A little bit trial and error, you know? I did that for y'all. Let me backtrack a little and tell you guys how it all started. So I was just chilling, mind my own business, and boom, my feet start itching, right? I go and inspect the area on my foot, and it looked like an ant bite. So I popped it, being the person I am, and water, I mean, not water, obviously, but whatever in there came out. The next day, I had more bites. Get this, pose an ant bite was turning dark. I've never seen this before, but wait. I have. Backtracking even more, four years or three years, Mike's old house had a million fleas. And being that rare case, I got bit up very bad. That traumatizing moment in my life decided to come back and bite me again. So they bit me all over my feet, my ankles, my calves, my shins, my leg. Bro, these chickens are so loud. The bites from a couple years ago are still there. They're just like dark spots on my feet. I know what it's gonna be like. I know what it's gonna look like for a couple years. So I was freaking out. So I had to look up any possible way I can stop it. Just like the person in my last video commented wanting to know how to get rid of ants in their house. You go to the internet and they tell you every little hint DIY and everything so i did that and omg did it work obviously it worked because i'm here right now making this video because if it didn't work i would just make this video more just complaining instead of helping other people out i've literally felt like a dog just itching itself really great really great stuff i had to come up with a solution for this because obviously since i'm the only person getting bit i'm the only person <laughs> I'm the only person getting bit, so I'm the only person that actually really cares. First thing we did, we came together because I expressed my concerns of the fleas and expressed that I needed a lot of help because I was going crazy. I would literally be up at 3.30 in the morning itching my legs unintentionally. I'd be itching my legs with my foot and not even realize it, like I said, unintentionally. And Mike would have to be like, stop itching your leg. I didn't even know I was itching my leg, but <laughs> I'ma stop because you know, it's bad. I did the research, okay? We bought all the stuff we needed, including a vacuum, a strong vacuum. We had to make sure all those fleas were sucked up and gone. After we bought the stuff, we put some baking soda all over the floors, the carpets, the bed, everything. Not everything, just the floors. We vacuumed and we made a concoction with vinegar and water and witch hazel and lime juice. Then we sprayed that everywhere. Every possible spot on the carpet, every spot on the carpet we sprayed it everywhere then from there on we also bought essential oil like eucalyptus spearmint if you can find any um oak wood stone wood cedar wood if you can find any cedar wood essential oil buy it and put it everywhere 
because cedarwood oil kills fleas unlike every other one that i got which repels fleas i could not find cedarwood oil we got a whole bunch of like those little diffusers and filled those up specifically eucalyptus and we just let those running all night all day vacuum twice a day because those little suckers drop 60 eggs a day ew ew and now what helped them from biting me I ran into so much little tips and information about what it could prevent humans from getting bit. Now, were any of them right? I'm not sure because I tried so many things. I haven't gotten bitten, so one of them worked. Can't really be specific. I can't specifically pinpoint exactly what worked because it was just so many things. I think what benefited me the most was putting aloe and some spare mint oil and put it all over my legs not only may i possibly have not gotten bitten but it feels so good the itching the constant itching just stopped it just felt like coolness just like just wind blowing through your legs on your legs but great it's great like even if you're just itching because an ant bit you just mm, i want to itch my legs right now <laughs> I also had a spoonful of vinegar every morning, apple cider vinegar. I was going to do the whole alkaline water, but no, I'm not. Yeah, other than that, I'm, I didn't really try anything else. Hopefully, if you guys ever get bitten by fleas or see a flea on your dog or anything or inside your house, this video will be very helpful along the way. You will already know what to do. It sucked getting bit by fleas and having this whole situation come upon me out of nowhere. But I'm glad it happened because not only was it, um, uh, it was a good, it gave me an idea for a video. It's also going to help a lot of people. Those rare cases. Thank you so much for watching. Hey! No, 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 no. Sean! No, baby. Oh, my God. Look. I'm going to go to the pool. Okay. okay, you go to the pool. This is what Sean's been doing the whole time I've been talking. 